you know what sepsis is? Come join me as I share with you what sepsis is. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. Sepsis is, in its basic definition, a massive infection in your body. Now, how can that occur, and why does that matter to you? What can occur is that, let's say you have a surgical procedure, and the doctor inadvertently injures the bowel, the colon, and doesn't recognize it. What then happens is that your feces, the stool, will then leak out into your belly, into your abdomen. Now, what can happen then? What can happen is that the stool is not supposed to be in your belly, and as a result, it becomes an irritant and winds up getting infected. And once you have an infection in your abdomen, that can spread throughout your entire body. And when that happens, you can get extremely sick. Now, in cases involving a failure to diagnose, let's say, bowel perforation, the reason why these are so deadly is because oftentimes the doctor doesn't recognize that there's been a bowel perforation, and then all of a sudden, within days, within hours, the patient starts to get worse and worse. They start to get extremely sick. And then, if they're in the hospital, now they start to do various tests to find out why it is that the patient is getting so sick. And by the time they finally actually realize why the patient has gotten so sick, it may be too late and the patient may die. And many times we'll get calls from patients whose family members have died saying, listen, my loved one just died. I've been told by the medical examiner that they died of sepsis. What does that mean? Well, sepsis means they had a massive infection that couldn't be controlled. And in each of these cases, the real question is if this condition had been recognized and treated as soon as it occurred, would the outcome be any different? And in many instances, the answer is yes, because if they recognize that the bowel perforation had occurred during the course of surgery, they could have repaired it right then and there. They could have irrigated and washed the patient out, whatever, whatever contaminants were in there. And then they could prophylactically treat the patient, meaning they could give the patient antibiotics right away and in order to prevent the infection from getting worse. So why do I tell you about this? Because chances are you have questions and concerns about what sepsis is and how it may have caused or contributed to your loved one's injuries or death. And if your matter happened in the state of New York, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I answer legal questions like yours every single day. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.